Please welcome David Schwimmer. Hey, David Swimmer. Hi, Stephen Colbert. This is incredibly pleasant to have you here. Yeah, for me, too. No, for, for the people too. out there who may not know, we went to college together. We did, indeed. Yeah, we studied, we studied theater. Yes. At yeah, Northwestern we were University. Thespians. Yes, exactly. Yes, the School yes. of Speech, as they called it back then. Yeah, for some... We actually have a record of... of oh, uh, this is... This yeah. is this is actual a photo of you and me. We were in an a improv group. We were. Uh, the... <laughs> No Fun Mud Piranhas was the name of the That's group. That's right. I, and <laughs> see if you can pick out us in this group together. This is back, okay. That You might have put, push in a little bit more if you can. There is David Schwimmer. <laughs> and there is Stephen Colbert. <laughs> oh, God. Can you go back up here, go back there, right there? You, you have hair that Kylo Ren would love. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, At what I, point did you give it up? What point did you give up the hair? Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I think uh, senior year in college, I finally really? I cut it for a show. Yeah. Really? It was uncastable? Yeah. It was. <laughs> Yeah, I had, I had, uh, it was a lot of maintenance, too. That oh, yeah, I imagine just cream yeah. rinse alone could bust you. Yeah. <laughs> young, struggling actor. Did you do the young, struggling actor things, like wait tables when you got out? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we have that in common as well. We both uh, worked at various restaurants in Chicago. Uh -huh. and I waited tables for about seven years uh, between wow. uh, Ed DeBevix in Chicago. Oh, and... really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was I, I worked for the same guy. I worked at a place called Scoozy. Yes, you Right did. across town from remember, you guys. Yeah. I remember going in once Can't, or twice. Well. I remember when you came in because I remember... No, I do remember when you came in because I think you'd already done something in Hollywood or something like that, and I was really jealous because you're like, <laughs> I'll never work, and Dave Schwimmer already has work. I was wondering... Why, yeah, I was wondering why there was... My soup tasted just a little... <laughs> <laughs> little little Colbert. You can't prove yeah. anything. You can't prove anything. It was a very deep bowl, though. Um, <laughs> okay, let's get down to the nitty of the gritty here. All right, okay, let's do it. you're playing <clears throat> Robert Kardashian. Yes. I'm familiar with the family name. This is how we originally got to know the Kardashians. Right. Was through a Robert, who was a friend of OJ's. What were they to each other? Well, they were friends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but how do they know each other? What was the connection? Yeah, it was USC football, actually. Okay. They knew each other for about almost 25 years before mm -hmm. the trial. Uh, they were very good friends, closest of friends, best men at each other's weddings. Uh, the families would vacation together. Mm -hmm. Uh, they were also, they went into business uh, w with each other. Uh, Robert was a lawyer. Uh, and then when all this went down, Robert um, was asked to join the defense team. Robert for, Shapiro for... asked him to join the defense team. That's so right. he was there every day in the courtroom. He was there, he, wow. he was there every day and also visiting OJ in jail the entire time. It's hard to believe that devoted. it was 20 years, of, 20 years ago at this point. Yeah. Do you, you when you first, uh, this was the first year you got friends, right? Yeah, yeah. So were you paying attention to it, or was your world nah, just blowing up too know, much for you to I care was, about stuff I was like that? too into what I was doing, you know? Uh. <laughs> now, uh, you and I knew each other, as I said, from Northwestern University, but also from theater in Chicago. Yeah. You're one of the founding members of the Looking Glass Theater, which yeah. is an incredible theater in Chicago. If, if you're in Thanks. Chicago and, and if you're looking to see something yeah, beautiful, please, go to the Looking Glass Theater. There's no, there's no other performance space or no other performance group like the Looking Glass Theater. Amazing, amazing. Thank really you. beautiful. Whenever I see something in the looking glass, I think, well, thank God something like that exists. It's so such a beautiful thing to have in Chicago or in the United States. Thanks. Um, do you still perform live? Yeah. I didn't know. Don't yeah, I yeah. know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we yeah. know you from Mr. You mean, Famous you know, Theater. Theater, theater yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did a, a play here in New York a couple of years ago, uh, uh, Playwrights Horizons called mm -hmm. Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I also, you know, I'm back in Chicago directing and acting with the company when I can. So, yeah, I love it. There's nothing like like a live audience. So. Yeah. Um, do you, uh, or like, what, 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 how do you, like, as somebody who, are, do you, are you from Los Angeles originally? Yeah, I was born in Queens, but I grew up mostly all over LA. 
and then and then lived in Chicago for many. Yeah, years. then went to Northwest. Well, how would you compare? How would you compare the three the three big cities in America? Like, do you have a fave? Uh, you know, I would say that um, You're in New York. Right I'm in now. New I York. I'm right in, now. Well, I, I yeah. moved here about 12 years ago, and this is where I decided to live and raise a family. So uh, I, I would say right now, New York would be my my favorite. Nice yeah. well done. These people love you for saying that. Just don't ever come in second place in <laughs> Iowa. <I won't. laughs> We started off as an improv group together. We did. Did you did you enjoy the improvisation? You know, I, I'm going to be really honest. I yeah. was always this is true. I'm I'm not like Steve. I could never keep up with him. He, your mind is just so ridiculously fast. Um, and I was more. Very nice, to you, sir. Very nice to you, sir. It's. God's honest truth. And, and I actually was really grateful for being in that group with you because I realized, oh, that's why I, I can't do that. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I should go into acting and yeah. not that. Do you know so. what I remember? You know what I remember? Uh, one of the things I remember about you, other than you're a very gifted actor, uh, is that between your freshman and your sophomore year, you uh, grew a chest. <laughs> You do, you, do you remember this? You do, worked out remember. like mad that summer. Yeah. And you were just like an average, you like know, freshman. But a sophomore year, it was like, when did Schwimmer get checked? <laughs> were, you, yeah. were you juicing? Were you juicing? Uh, you can I tell. Was, I'll no, cut it out if you were. I wasn't. I, you I, weren't? No, I How'd you I get so jacked? I just like, you were like, boom, you were totally ripped and exploded no, I, over one well, summer. I, I, you know what I'm talking about. I appreciate that. I don't. <laughs> We have all of us who got to see it appreciated it too. Yeah. Uh, no, you know, I I was um, I didn't reach puberty till very late. So I was yeah. I was I was short and heavy until about yeah until like summer of junior year of high school and then senior year. So and then I suddenly was really tall and and to all skin and bone, like yeah. just tall and thin. Yeah. So when I got to college, I thought I should probably exercise. And I just want you to know, to this day, if I ever get in an exercise regime, I think to myself, I wonder if this will have any effect if I work hard. And I think, well, Schwimmer did in the summer. How hard could it be? <laughs> so thank you for that example. It's my thank pleasure. you for that North Star. I'm glad I could inspire you. Well, Dave, great to see you. You too, Steve. Say hello to my friends in Looking Glass, please. <laughs> People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, premiered tonight on FX. Catch up online. Watch episode two next Tuesday at 10 o'clock. We'll be right back.